Hi, I'm Anthony from bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com and this video will explore which pick is best to play with a tick pick or a tin pick. And just the other moment, I broke one of the tin picks. That's a very tin pick we'll experiment with. It's a USA Nylon uh, Jim Dunlop pick. It's a 0.46 millimeters. So very thin. And we will talk about various things uh, that are important to note when talking about thin versus thick picks. And the very first thing is your guitar tone. So picks do affect your guitar sound, how you sound on guitar. So you can compare this really to the bow of a violinist if they care so much about uh, which bow they play with, we as guitarists should equally care about our picks because they do affect tone. And the best experiment you can do is to take the tin pick, play a few notes, and then compare this sound to the tick pick. And of course we do it now in the video, but you can experiment with this for yourself with different picks. This is a jazz tree pick. That's a smaller pick, but very thick, that is used a lot, not only by jazz guitarists, but they are pretty good players most of the time. So the jazz guitarists use this pick for the accuracy reasons. And this is the second reason why comparing picks is essential as guitarists because picks don't only affect your guitar tone, the quality of your sound, but they also affect the accuracy in which you play with. And of course, if you're just strumming songs and you're playing things like this, it's perfect to play with a tin pick because it might even give you a, a preferable tone in this regard, so a lot of uh, acoustic guitar plays like the tone of the tin picks the strumming across the strings but of course this is also very personal I can experiment also playing through such campfire songs really um, campfire chords with the ticker pick and if you do so I would encourage you to also go with the flow here with the right hand and don't hold it really really tightly because otherwise you will get this and this is a problem that many beginners on guitar run into the sound of the tick pick sounds force on the strings because they use it with too much force uh, and when they strumming songs that is and that's why a lot of beginners they prefer the tin pick but um, also take care of your accuracy and if you only play with the tin pick even when playing scales and solos your accuracy will suffer and this isn't really uh, a problem if it's not a problem for you but if you want to grow as a guitarist and play more difficult stuff then looking at the tick pick might do the job for you and might even um, make it so that you um, deliver a growth curve for your guitar technique. So if you're only playing with thinner picks, just forcing yourself to play with a tick pick, make sure that you get more accuracy in your playing because you're forced to do so, to look at your technique, because this um, thicker pick or thicker picks like this, they, uh, they force you to play with much more accuracy because they're uh, in this case smaller, but also if it's just a thicker pick, you can only pick with the tip of the pick. If you pick, delve too deep into the strings, you will feel too much stress from the strings and you will get stuck in between the strings. And that's why a lot of beginners, they prefer this thinner pick, but it's a bit of a false uh, sense of security. So it's okay if this works for you, but if you want to grow in your guitar playing, especially as lead guitarist, most people look at ticker picks. And the same even applies if you're playing already with ticker picks and your lead guitar playing, but you still want to grow in your technique, looking at uh, smaller picks might do the job for you because you're forced then again to play with more accuracy because um, as you might um, 
as you might think the smaller picks they also come with more accuracy so you need more accuracy to play with with those picks and if you want to delve deeper into this i have a free guide on my website bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com it's about playing fast blues guitar licks if you're into blues guitar playing i want to play fast blues licks i break down seven really essential fast blues guitar licks note by note and teach you how to play them so check out that guide on the website and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you get the newest youtube video straight to your home youtube home feed